He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of what? Low degree. This is about, this is exactly what we're about to see in the midst of the church in the future. We're going to see many, many mighty fall because of pride. And we're going to see many, many that was last. The castaway, the homeless, the drug dealer, the drug user, the addicted, the oppressed, the depressed, the ones that just were thrown out was nothing. Everybody gave up on. God is going to use them. And He's going to put new life in them. And He's going to exalt them in a certain way. So the religious Pharisees in the church are going to be offended. Watch. And they will be mad like the brother, the other brother that never entered in to the banquet when his, the prodigal son came home. The prodigal son that was out there done wasted all he had of the father's inheritance when he came back home. was broken and contrived. And the religious son said, I've been here all this time. And he did not enter in. He did not enter in. There's going to be many religious people sitting in the pews that's going to die and go to hell just like the Pharisees because they will not rejoice at those coming in that Jesus saves out of the gutter. Him a low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I don't preach enough. I want us to get this. We are made virgins through the blood of the Lamb. Remember Matthew 25? The five foolish and the five wise? We're made virgins. So as we, as such, as we are made a virgin by the blood of the Lamb and our sins are cleansed, then is placed the miracle inside of our heart. Birth is given. The Holy Spirit comes in. A clean temple. I've heard this all the time. God will not dwell in an unclean temple. Every single one of us, including the preacher saying that, is unclean. He dwells in us because of what Jesus paid for. Because of the blood of the to do with us. Even when we're in the pit pen many times, Emmanuel is still there. Y'all know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't promote mm -hmm. sin. I don't like sin. and I don't want it in my life. But I'm telling you, Jesus doesn't give up or forsake us. Amen. Amen. We have to forsake Him. Amen. He doesn't forsake Amen. us. Amen. Praise God. So yes, He's still dwelling there. He's still dwelling there. And He's seeking to get many people that's in sin right now out of it and cleanse them again. Many have backslidden and fallen away, but Jesus hasn't given up on them. Mm -hmm. we got to get that in our head because there's many doctors that say, I work, I walk perfect now. I talk to them that you don't walk perfect. There's things that go through your mind that you act on that is not of God. That is unclean. If it wasn't for the blood, if it wasn't for His sacrifice, that's where our faith should be placed. That's what Mary did. Mary had issues too. She had issues like all of us, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Right? That's what being done to me is according to the Word. That's what the Word says. But Mary was made clean by the one who dwelt within. Same with us. The Holy Spirit that dwells within us is sanctifying us daily. I can keep on preaching, but I know y'all 